some merch then because I'm talking about merch. Let's look at merch. So speaking of that item that I had to pick up uh, yesterday because a lot of people have been buying it, is this Wishing Bear Winnie the Pooh pin set. And when they initially put up all of the merch for the Wishing Bear um, line, this pin set was not on there. And then when I went to the Tokyo Disney Resort Disney store on Tuesday, I believe, I saw this this pin set. I'm like, why is this not on the shop? Oh my God, I need to sell this. So I immediately went and put it on my shop. And um, yeah, people have been really digging it. Look at the inside of the box too, that's the design. Yes, I've been selling a lot of these. So um, I pretty much gutted <laughs> the, the stores and bought all of them. Um, so I kind of feel bad, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, this is a really cool pin set. Pooh in his little pajamas, his little pajamas. Yes. So, bought a whole bunch of those guys, and I still have it up too. So that's pretty cool. Um, here is something that I I found recently, which is really interesting. I've never seen this in a box like this. So these are Toy Story four like plastic uh, pass cases um, or a card case. They say it's a card case, card case. So you can use it for, you know, your, these are kind of meant for commuter passes. So um, here in Japan, it's very common, um, not, not just here in Japan, but also other places around the world that have large transportation systems. Uh, you get a transit pass. So this is my PASMO, my PASMO card. And this is essentially uh, allows you to tag into um, any transportation system here in Japan, whether it be subway or buses or is that it? <laughs> Maybe there's other things. Um, Usually you just get these and it's like a debit card. You load money on there. And every time you tag the turnstile, it tells you how much money you have left on it. Um, the reason why there's like weird writing on my card is because I actually have a commuter pass that discounts um, my trip to my office. So it says Nakameguro to Hachobori um, because I get on the train at Nakameguro. And then I go to Hachobori, which is my train stop. And I have this pass until November 1st. That's why it says 2020, uh, November 1st. I got a three month pass and it's basically discounted because I because I always go from Nakameguro to Hachobori. Um, I chose, it's like any time that I travel between Nakameguro and Hachobori, I pay, I pay a discounted price. I basically pay a set price and then I don't, I, I can use, I can go between those stations as many times as I want, um, in this time frame. Meaning if I need to go somebody, <laughs> go somebody, if I need to go somewhere that is in between Nakameguro and Hachoburi and I take Nakameguro to say, I don't know, um, Hibiya, and I go there, I'm not paying any money because it's in between those lines, uh, in between those stops. However, if I go one stop past Hachoburi, I will be paying money. So anyways, these these cards, you, you put them in these cases here. So when you go to the subway or the bus, you take your case and you tag it on the turnstile. It's just a way of holding your, your card. I use my wallet, so I, I put in my wallet and I tag my wallet. So um, yeah, it's totally up to you. But in um, like I said, this is not a this is not a new thing. So in New York City, they have the Metro card, which is not really a card. I mean, maybe they do have a card. Has anyone been to New York recently? 
because when I lived in New York, it was like a uh, kind of like a flimsy, kind of like plasticky pass. Maybe they have cards now. I don't know. When I lived in San Francisco, it was called a clipper card. So it looked like it kind of looked like it's like it looks like a kind of plastic, kind of credit card kind of thing. And it's the same thing. You you charge money on it. Um, although when I lived in San Francisco before the Clipper card, they had a Muni Pass for all of the San Francisco uh, buses and trains, and uh, the Muni Pass was awesome because it was like a it was like a paper pass, but it had different colors on it for each month. There was different colors, and so I collected all of them. I had like you know dozens and dozens of them. They were so pretty, but I ended up getting rid of them. But uh, I missed the mini pass. The mini pass was awesome. But then they changed it all to Clipper cards, and so now it's all Clipper. So, yeah. They had the paper day passes last year when you went to New York City. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the day passes are only the flimsy ones, but I would imagine they probably have a, a, a plastic card now for, for New York. I mean, I'm not sure. Like, when I, I lived in New York from 2001 to 2005, so that was a long time ago. So I'm sure that things have changed uh, since I lived there. But um, anyways, anyways, back to this. So this is a, a Toy Story 4 uh, card case, but there's six different designs. So on the back here, you can see that there there's uh, Woody and Buzz, there is Woody, Just Buzz, Ducky, and Bunny, uh, Forky, and then all four of them together. Yeah, so you get like a random one, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I, I found, I like randomly found these. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll sell these. I wish I could open it up, but these are the kind of boxes that are not conducive to opening it up. So <laughs> sorry, can't open it up. My bad. So, what else? Where are they? And this, this pass case. <laughs> you put your, uh, I was just talking about putting your card in there. Yeah. Uh, I also picked up these, these uh, clear file folders for you guys have probably seen this design before the mickey to mini yukata summer firework design super pretty super pretty and on the back there's a mini one so you get two you get two ones you get one with mickey and mini in the fireworks and then you get one with mini super pretty yeah so I, just, I picked those up Yeah, wow, I, I really don't have a lot of stuff to show off today. <laughs> now that I think about it. The last things I have to show off are these were just released yesterday. These are the mini Apple Plush and Plush Keychain. So adorbs, look at Minnie. Loving her apples, her apple bottom, apple bottom. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's super cute. I'm really digging this um, this design. I like her little bow, her little apple bow, and she's got her nice little um, apple dress, very festive, and like her little apple sweater and her little red shoes too. She's really like styling it up, man. Minnie knows how to do the stylings, man. Yeah, very pretty. And then there's the course the miniature keychain version which has a clothespin on the back these are the best you got to get the ones with the clothespins because that way they will not come off your back <laughs> and she um is the mini version the mini the mini mini the mini mini version <laughs> we're in the same outfit but yeah they're they're totally adorbs <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, these are yours, Sadness Bandit. So I'll be sending this to you soon. Because you're, you're, um, you also ordered the, 
uh, Mickey and Minnie 2020 planner. And you're lucky because I I picked up that planner and then someone else bought it and it sold out. So you, <laughs> you managed to get it. Um, the other person, unfortunately, is not going to get it. So I will send these out probably on Monday. Look at her tail. She's got a little tail too. So she has a tail in here too. Tail. Cool. So that is the mini mini Apple plushes. The cheap the cheap little Deru one is adorbs. I love it. But um strangely enough, that is it for the merch today. A little um kind of a a, a small selection of items today.